poor Sergio. Oh, yeah. In. Oh, yeah. In. Oh, Holland run for Sergio. <laughs> Things were heating up already on day one here at the Players Championship. From defending champs Jason Day's run in the morning to Adam Scott's in the afternoon, the big names were making a grand entrance on day one, and none bigger than Sergio Garcia. We caught up with him after his ace on 17. Uh, when I saw it bounce, I, I knew it, it was good because it bounced just short of the hole, and uh, I was thinking it was probably going to be close, but uh, when, I, when I saw it spin back into the hole, it was, uh, it was fun. Well, you gave us plenty of excitement here this afternoon in the first round, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you. There are close calls, and then there are close calls. Sergio's went in the hole, and Robert Garrigus almost went in the drink. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, man. He avoided the water, but everyone else wanted to get in it on the hot day. Fans and duck families alike. That's a lot of ducks, but Phil Nicholson was aiming for a double eagle. Looks like he's trying to work this from right to left. Absolutely love to watch out here. Wow. Just skirting by the hole for the big bird, the albatross. Brilliant shot from Nicholson. The winds picked up here in the afternoon at TPC Sawgrass, but it didn't phase our leaders. Mackenzie Hughes came in with a quiet bogey-free round of five under par. Meanwhile, co-leader William McGirt had two eagles and came in with a 67. Meanwhile, former champions Ricky Fowler, Jason Day, and Adam Scott got things going early on in their rounds. Jay Day made the turn with this 66 footer from the fringe for birdie and was five under through 14 when he bogeyed three of his last four holes. 2015 champ Ricky Fowler struggled down the stretch despite his hot start, but ended his day with a much needed birdie. 2004 winner Adam Scott took a share of the lead with back to back birdies like this one from the trees. But he didn't hold on and ended his day with two double bogeys. Plenty of fabulous golf ahead, and you can catch it all on PGA Tour Live starting at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday. I'll see you there and afterward on Friday night in The Takeaway.